late afternoon to you. This is Tiffany Daniels, and welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea, <clears throat> also known as the Lady Autist. So, what well, this video is going to be about today is we're still building off of the last two videos that I went over, right? We're kind of going over trolls and the tricks of the media. Uh, this is mainly about trolls, so this is going to be a real brief video. So, what this is about... That's my cat, by the way. Uh, anyways, what this is about is the fact that a lot of times... Trolls will project or mirror actions done by a supporters of a particular cause. Um, for example, say you have an Andre McCollins or a JD situation going on. And there is a large or at least a decent amount of public backlash towards how the person is being treated. And what trolls will do, or hyper-defensive people in the case of the parents in regards to the JRC, uh, they do a lot of mirror actions. Uh, let me give you an example. In the Andre McCollum's case with the JRC, what you started to see in the media was uh, all of a sudden a lot of parents coming forward in support of the JRC and what they would do would be they would have the parents talk about oh well basically bring up worst case scenarios that their kid was extreme in self-harm um, how the parents would be in fear for their lives, and they would just hit you with that story after story repeatedly to kind of, basically why they did it that way was they wanted to get public opinion on their side saying, yes, these measures seem extreme, but they won't go into the details about those measures. But, it's, it's working. It's working. Look, look. Not going into the details that it is working due to the kid being in shock because he's being electrocuted. And they don't go into the other methods that other centers have used that do not use aversive shocks or aversive therapy that awful work in regards to the self-harm. Now, and they would also have these parents show up in the comments. And these parents would just start bombarding us advocates with story after story and say, how dare you speak about something that is assisting my son. You have no idea what it's like. Kind of the same thing. A little with AH supporters not many of them are really that sophisticated so you have that mirror there they're, they're mirroring what us advocates were doing by getting out the stories of the survivors of the JRC now with the AH trollers and here's where mirroring us comes into it you notice that <clears throat> as the petitions got more and more signers, bring back J.D. as Grindelwald, remove A.H. from Aquaman to remove her from L'Oreal, you started seeing from them these petitions go up. And exact same petitions in some cases using even some of the very same images there's that mirroring for you again and they will get their petitions up in order to 
support the opposite side. Thankfully, we didn't have change.org back in the day. And that would have been a whole brand new train wreck, and we were already dealing with one. <clears throat> so, you have these petitions up that are supporting AH and Aquaman 2. Yet, yeah, new one up that I recently seen today in regards to getting JD removed as a spokesperson from Savage. Obviously, my opinion, a mirror to the petition that is up to get her removed as a L'Oreal spokesperson. So, they mirror a lot in regards to uh, their side, so to speak. But where you were going to notice the differences, um, especially in regards to Ms. Taft, the one who called, caused all the derision last night, <clears throat> is they don't have the same levels of support as the truth. And this is very important. It was the same thing with the JRC. There was, I can count them on one hand, how many supporters the JRC actually had. They were just the loudest, so to speak. They try to make up <clears throat> for their numbers by their loudness. So, in the case of the Keep Amber Heard in Aquaman to support AH, what they have is all of a sudden on that petition, you started to see some really weird names. We're talking... Names like Peter Pan, Adolf Hitler, that was apparently a one of them. I didn't know he was back from the dead and supporting AH. I wouldn't call that exactly a ringing endorsement if I were you. Um, just, I guess, two birds of a feather? Um, but they will go out and they'll buy the bots and you'll see them try to match and mirror what we're doing so that they can purport that she has as much, if not support, same amount of support as JD. <clears throat> now, how you counteract that is what a lot of the folks that have been in this fight from the very beginning and more openly so than some of us the simple counteracting the facts, and yes, you you got to be a digger. You, you got to be able to go in and do the research and get the receipts. You got to get those receipts because those are always very telling. All right, folks. Now that is all I've got for this evening. I know it's not as informative as the last couple were. I do apologize about that. I'm a little blank-headed today after uh, last night dealing with uh, the CS musical debacle and dealing with what happened last night as well. If you could, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit the comments. We don't get very many views, and the few views we do get on these videos do get removed. I appreciate your time tonight, and I hope you have a good day. <clears throat>